When you have up and downs in life, an empowering or positive mindset can help you, but it is not sustainable. The only thing that's sustainable is acceptance. Let's think about the ups and downs. When we're in the up phase of life or in the up phase of any moment of the day, we feel untouchable. We feel like this is how life's supposed to be. It shouldn't be stressful. It should be exactly like it is right now. And you get used to it. Maybe you're feeling really happy and you get used to this happy feeling and you want more of it and you want to only be in situations that make you feel good. There's nothing as addictive as a good feeling. Nothing in life as addictive. Of course there is drugs and there is sex and these things like this, but what a person can feel comes from all those things. Drugs make you feel good if you do drugs and if you enjoy drugs or they have an impact on your life. Sex makes you feel good if it has an impact on your life. Food can even do that. Learning can even do that. Anything that makes you feel good, you actually just want more of it. And you want more of it and you want more of it. Now on the other side of that, you have the downs. The times where maybe you feel depressed, you feel angry, so you feel upset, disappointed, hurt, pain, whatever it may be. You feel the other end of the spectrum. And this is the place where we want to move away from. We feel like, I'm here and I just want to leave. I'm feeling depressed and I don't want to feel depressed. I'm feeling angry right now and I don't want to feel angry. That person may be angry, I don't want to feel angry. Or you feel like you are in pain of some sort and you're like, I just want to get out of this pain. And you do whatever you can to get away from it. The ups and downs in life. is what people have called life, ups and down. You know, as you walk through life, because this is what people say, as you walk through life, you know, you have points in your life where you feel like you're feeling really good, and at points you feel like you're feeling really bad, or there's times where you are feeling very positive, and there's times where you're feeling negative. So what you should do is think about, because this is what they take you to, think about your life or think about something that you love or think about do I want to be like this in the future they always bring you back to thinking 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 always back to the mind it's so crazy how everybody talks about self-development everybody talks about making themselves better everyone wants to be a coach everyone is talking about being a teacher but everyone is also using mindsets and the one thing that the one thing that they go wrong with is trying to use mindsets for filling. Trying to use filling and mind in the same arena as if they go together. Because they do not. You're filling a down part of your life and they're trying to make you feel always the up. You're filling an up part of your life and they're trying to make you use it as a reference point. So, what's the right way? What is the way to go about this so that the ups and downs can be something? What is the way to go about this? This is something that I started to look into because if you're someone who is in self-development, you know the path of having extreme highs and low lows. You know this path very much. And I like to call this elation and depression. 
extreme in expression is what depression is. Elation, feeling like you're refreshed and you want to try something, but then you hit another standstill because now you learned that, boom, it, don't, it wasn't that sustainable, then you go back down. And you start to feel disappointed. You start to feel low. You start to feel like you are defeated. This up and down is what every person has been through who's in self-development. And we're trying to figure out, like I used to, try to figure out how can I just stay up and never go back down. This is what I was trying to do. And it became this sickening race, like many people are out there doing, this sickening race of not wanting to feel the other side of life. The sickening race. Or becoming so addictive, addicti addicted to the high or the up that you want to just stay there. Running away from the low and staying addicted to the high. You never win. Never, ever will you win with this. And that's what I started to see, that I'm not winning in any way. That I'm not actually living the way that I want to live. I thought this was it, though. I mean, I learned from Brian Tracy. I learned from Tony Robbins. I learned from everyone else who you may even learn from in the self-development community. I learned from so many people, and I was just going and going. And then I went... I'm trying to always be positive. I'm always trying to stay up. I'm always trying to move away from the negative. But why though? Why am I constantly doing this? I feel imbalanced. I'm always wanting to be on the up. I, I hate the downs. And then this wonderful thing came around of using mindsets to be able to help you when you're in a down phase. That wonderful thing, quote unquote, wonderful thing came around and it changed my life, I thought. It changed my life, I thought. I will get into a low mood, and I know you can relate to this. I will get into a low, low mood of some sort, and then I will try to come up with a mindset that maybe I learned from a book or I would try to develop my own mindset in the moment to be able to help me out of this place. And this is where many people go wrong. This is where many people miss out on life like I did. They're trying to, in the states, not when they're feeling high, and only in the low states. Or sometimes when they're feeling high, they're like, this is where I need to be, and each time I go down, I'm just gonna remember this. They try to contact a reference point. This is another way to it, but bring you back to the low, I was trying to constantly get myself out of a place. So I'm like running away from. I'm like, how do I get myself out? And I'm building this mindset of, you know, I'm gonna die at some point, so I might as well live my life totally. Or will this matter to me in such and such years? I'm willing to lose this person, but I need to do this. All these things that I started to create just so I could get away from this place of feeling like. I'm out of control, like I don't have things in a positive direction. And it was working, and I would be able to do this, and I would be able to go, you know what? I wanna go do this thing right here, and I know the only way for me to get through this is if I do it for my little brother. Because remember, the thing that I was operating from is, why am I doing this? And I would think of my reasons. And then I would pick up that, and I would just go, boom. I'm doing this, it's because I know I need to help guys. I know that I'm doing this because of this thing. And I would create mindsets like when I get really low, I would say things to myself like, what would guys think of this if they were in front of me? I'm gonna do this for the guy's benefit. And it helped me, it absolutely did, I have to tell you this. It absolutely did because it gave me a different energy in the moment, it did. It kind of like changed the tide from like, going completely upstream to going downstream because once you align yourself with the energy that's a very pulling type of energy, it's easy for you to do something. And that's what I did. I would just align myself with mindsets that allow me to access parts of myself. And this is the thing that people teach out there and it works. I'm telling you this, it works. 
but it is not the changing effect. It is not the changing effect. And this is why I tell you this. I was doing it consistently and having mindsets and doing this. And I was in this phase where I called the grind. And this grind phase made me feel so open, so powerful. It really did. It made me feel like I was untouchable. For sure it did. And then continuing on and, and finding new ones and finding new ones and finding new ones, I became so much the person who was just like positive, 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 that if any type of negative type of thing came around me, I would feel this ickiness like, oh, I don't want that around me. And I would remove myself or try to remove the person or the woman that was in my life. And each time I felt negativity, I would feel this, ah, type of thing. Because it felt like it was cramping the positivity that I created. But what I noticed is that that same feeling of ickiness is the same thing I needed to accept. This is why I tell you that the only lasting long-term thing when it comes to up and downs in life it's not creating mindsets. I don't care whatever facet of life you're in. It is not creating a mindset. Or let me reword it. It's creating a mindset to get yourself going, but it's letting go of the mindset at some point. That's the best way to say it. But I say creating a mindset because you can actually short circuit trying to create the mindset and be with something that's far greater. And that is acceptance. This changed my whole experience from always feeling like, oh, I don't want to be around negativity, eh, this ickiness, to when I would feel negativity from anyone or negativity around me or even in myself, I had to walk a different path with it. I started to develop a different relationship to negativity. And this is something that you may struggle with, is always creating mindsets to try to sustain yourself. And I have to tell you that mindsets aren't sustainable. They're not. They always need evidence. They always need reassurance. Mindsets aren't sustainable. And what's crazy is that when you create a mindset, from that mindset comes a belief. And then you try to stand up for those beliefs at times. So even right now as I'm speaking to you, I'm probably pressing on a belief inside of you in some way that mindsets do work. Because <clears throat> maybe you're in a bad mood once and then you use mind, a mindset to get you out of that. And every single time you got in a bad mood, you use that mindset again. Or you use a different one. Or a more empowering one. So you may say to me, Tony, I have used mindsets and they have sustained me to this point because I feel positive now. I feel like I can do things in life. Great. You have, you can, that's great that you can do that. But I can tell you right like this. <clears throat> it is not sustainable. It is not. Because if another situation pops up and if you're continuing growing, it will, that presses onto you to grow, you will try to lean on your mindset to help you out. Example. Let's say you're doing something completely new, completely new, like an art or like fitness, something completely new to you. I don't know what it is. Maybe a new job position. You're trying something totally new. And then you notice that this new thing it presses on you in some way. Maybe you need to learn this art in a way that you're not used to using your hand or in a way you're not used to using your body. Maybe it's dance. Let's say there's a new position at work or some new position that you want to learn about. And you find out there's parts about it that you just don't want to learn or things like that. And then you 
feel like, oh man, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought. Whatever it is. You try to use a mindset that you already have to work with this point. If it's the art or if it's the new position or something you're learning new, you immediately go, I know this is something new and what I need to do right now is just relax. That's what I need to do. I need to relax because I understand this is a learning process. Maybe that's your mindset that when you get stressed out, you say to yourself because you know that it works, this is something new and I know that I'm not going to learn it right now. So I'm going to relax. That's great. But let me tell you this point. You are only managing that situation. You're actually not uprooting the real cause. You're just managing situations. So what do you become the master of in doing this? You become the master at managing situations, at the master of managing your feelings. That's actually what you become the master of, not feeling it and uprooting the parts of yourself that don't need to be there, the parts of you that expect something. Because it's not just, I feel anger or I feel frustration, I need to learn how to manage it. No. Because if you do that, that will not be something that's long term. That's just for the moment because you're managing it. You become a manager instead of a person who's actually spiritually evolving. And this is not the ideal situation to be in for anyone. A manager of your emotions, your someone who's not really in control, but you're controlling what you feel. This is what you become. You do. The only way to be able to have something that's sustainable, to live, really, when you're having these ups and downs in any moment, is acceptance. It's the only sustainable thing, the only thing. You can try to sustain the mindset, but the mindset isn't you. It's not. You may think that everything is good with it, but each mindset requires maintenance. It requires attention, effort. The more mindsets you have, the further you're away from yourself. Because the more your mind is the ruling ground, the further you're away from your heart. Why do you think that you are always up and down in your feelings? It's not because you need to learn how to manage it better. That's not because of that. It's because you want to become the manager. That's why you're up and down. Because you're like, when I'm really up, I want to learn how to manage this so I can stay here. When I'm really down, I want to learn how to manage this so I can get back to the up. It's never really filling both entirely. It's becoming addicted or running away from. Learn to accept. And what does this mean? Why is acceptance your best option? It's your best option simply because it says yes to both ends. It doesn't discriminate. It says yes to both ends, which means that you never ever stay in one or the other for more than the moment you accept it. Yes, it may be some time for you to come out of it. Don't get me wrong. It may be some time for you to come out of it. But it says yes to both. It doesn't say yes to one and no to the other, or one is better than the other. It just says yes. When you're feeling really, really high and things like that, it just says yes to this. Yes, this is what you feel. Acceptance does. Acceptance. 
You accepting it. I don't want to make it seem like it's outside of you. You accepting it. Not trying to go against it. Not try to be so happy that you're with it. Which turns into elation. You just go, yes, acknowledging. Acknowledging. When it's really low, you just go, yes, that's what I'm feeling. Just acknowledging. Not so much where you're, okay, I'm feeling like this and you're trying to get away from, okay, how do I manage to get away from this? And you try to think of a mindset like, okay, I'm in this place like this, but I'm not gonna always be here. This too shall pass. That's, that's something I learned in the book, this too shall pass. Which is actually great to be able to bring yourself out of that place. If you're doing it from the spiritual angle, yes, it's very amazing. But the mindset, trying to do that, trying to manage that place, trying to get away from it, it's not going to help you. To accept is to say yes. One of the people who have really talked about this in an amazing way is Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle has, in his book, talked about the three modalities that we live in. And if we're not living any of these, we're living in suffering. And he's very true. He's very right with this. The first modality uh, that we can live in, and the very foundation of it, is acceptance. The next one is enjoyment, because this comes from the place of acceptance. You can start enjoying and enthusiasm, which means that you know there's a direction you're going, but you can enjoy along the way. He's very right. These modalities are possible, but it starts with acceptance. That's what he's the most right with. It starts with acceptance. When you're too much, like, fuck, I'm happy and this is great, and, and you're just so going with it and you have no awareness of it, it becomes a negative. It really does. It becomes something that's against you. Something that you're not rolling, that, that is not helping you. If you're in a really, really low place and you're trying to find a way out, you're trying to think of a mindset, you're trying to come up with something to find a way out, instead of filling it totally, it will be against you. only thing you can do is say yes. Acknowledge. There's something new you're learning, whatever it is. You find yourself getting frustrated and you don't want to do it, just say yes. Acknowledge it. I don't feel like uh, doing this right now because it's really, really difficult. Just accept that's what it is. It's difficult and it is. And this needs to be done through filling. I'm not saying, like some people do, I accept this. Because when they say, I accept this, in, in a way, they're going from a distance, I accept this thing, and that thing is the thing they're going to use always when something happens, which means they never really learn, they turn it into a mindset. When something happens, I'll just accept it and I'll keep going. That doesn't work. The truest acceptance of it truly is, yes, this is what's happening, and I'm going to feel it. And it's from that place where things can start to move in a direction that feels better. I'm not here to tell you that you should feel bad. It's great to feel good, but your aim shouldn't be always feeling good. It should be only accepting what you feel. Thank you for tuning in today and going through a profound change, really. Because once you shift from mindsets to acceptance, you can shift your world from always having to sustain to actually sustaining. I still have some spots left in my Berlin seminar. And those of you who don't know anything about it, I have 20 spots available. Some of those spots are taken, of course, and there's still some spots left. Uh, it's, it'll be coming up in less than a month now, and I look forward to you coming there if you're someone who wants to change his life.
To know more about that, just go down low in the description box. There is Berlin Seminar tickets and a link right at the, underneath that. Go there and you'll learn all about it. Also, I am offering one-on-one -on -one coaching while I'm there. So if you feel like, you know what, I want to learn about women and how to be myself in relation to women. This is something I'm also offering while I'm there. If you follow my pickup videos, that'll be something you can just write me at, Tony Solo at theessenceofman.com. In the meantime, my website is being made, so this is the way you can contact me. Subscribe because this is the way you're going to be able to follow me and share this with anybody who you feel needs to hear this because everybody talks about mindset and nobody talks enough about feeling or acceptance. And now you know. And the most important thing for you is it's more important to be that which you are than to try to become that which you want. So never try, just be. I'll talk to you tomorrow.